If you are planning to be outside this weekend and enjoy that beautiful weather, you will want to pay attention to this next story. A local group is raising awareness about Lyme disease and getting messages every day now from people throughout the community concerned about ticks. Two on your side's Danielle Church has those details. Nicer weather in the summer also means that unfortunately ticks are no longer hibernating and are out and about in western New York. I'm told as a result, everyone needs to take preventative measures. It takes a couple of seconds to put some bug spray on and it takes a couple of seconds to do a tick check. Those couple seconds literally could save you from a lifetime of misery. That's Rebecca Roll, founder of Lime Western New York. Her husband was bit by a tick nine years ago, and now she's an expert on ticks and Lyme disease. She says it's very important to protect yourself and your kids, even recommending Western New Yorkers spray their yards for ticks when Rebecca has seen just how many people have been impacted lately. Every single day the past two weeks, I've gotten a phone call from a friend or a family member who's had a tick embedded or a ticket attached, and that's in my bubble. You know, so I, I get really concerned about what's happening outside of my, my, my zone. You won't just see ticks in the woods or high grass. They could be right in your backyard. So Rebecca says keep an eye out for a range of symptoms. It could be the, the flu, you could be spotty, a spotty rash. It doesn't have to be this like perfect bullseye. Um, it just it all depends on how your body responds to that bite. If you do notice a change, she says consult your doctor. Pets are not immune either. There is no such thing as a flea season or a tick season. Uh, year round prevention is really the key to combating this disease. But we really do encourage people to get their animals on flea and tick prevention as soon as they are of age and to keep them on it for their lifetime. And if you have any questions about ticks or Lyme disease or simply just want to be more aware about it all, just head to LymeWNY.com. Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.